Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ashji and today's video is about a very important compound that have very strong antiviral activity which called epigallocotechin 3 gallet. This compound found inside the green tea as well as kiwi and some berries but it's a major compound inside the green tea. So in my previous video I discussed about the quercetin and could it have an antiviral activity and so on which I will leave the link to that video in the description if you want to watch and in that video I mentioned about the ECGC or epigallocutechin 3 gallet and I mentioned basically this compound is better to take compared to the quercetin. So if you want to know more about this compound don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me to this video. So basically the reason I recommend epigallocutechin to uh, taking during this pandemic is because this compound has already passed its test for fighting flu infection. And there are so many uh, human trials have been established on this and all of them were successful. I couldn't find a single um, failure regarding its activity against the flu infection. Whether it was in vitro means inside the lab or in a human trial. In all the cases, it was very successful. So that's why when it comes to the choice between the epigallocutechin and quercetin, I always recommend to go for the epigallocutechin. So basically, what is this compound? This compound is a polyphenol and it's found widely inside the green tea. It has a strong antioxidant activity, anti-cancer activity, as well as antiviral activity. So the reason I mention about this compound because there are lots of human trial has been established on this compound and all of them was positive including the last one that uh, done in last September as a prevention for coronavirus infection which I will leave the link to this uh, research in the description but unfortunately the final results still haven't published but I'm 99% sure this compound will show the good activity against the coronavirus as well because Basically, in so many studies, as you can see here, against the hepatitis C, against HIV, and especially against major flu viruses, this compound was very strong. And the reason for this, because this compound has two different mechanisms of action. One is intercellular, another is outer cellular, because this compound can interact with the surface protein of the virus. Whether it is a flu virus or coronavirus, it can attach to it, therefore it interrupts the virus from entering our cell. As you can see here, these two different mechanisms of action, one outer cellular as well as intercellular, will interrupt the virus from infecting us. And intercellular level, it really interrupts the virus from replicating its genome by using our cells. So basically, these two different mechanisms of action give such a potential for this compound. And there are some studies as well that mention if, if you take this compound with omega-3, it can even enhance the activity of this compound. And the reason for that is epigallocutechin can react with the omega-3 and become ester. And as an ester uh, molecule, it's easier for it to enter the cell and do the activity. But that one, I only found one uh, main uh, research paper, but in general, I strongly suggest to everybody to get this compound and my recommendation is to take it as a green tea form not as a supplement and the reason for this is there is a lots of this compound inside the green tea being one cup of green tea which is 250 ml or eight or eight ounce if I'm not mistaken in there is 50 to 100 milligram of epigallocutechin so if I take five cup of green tea a day I'm good to go and believe it or not it is very good to take it in a separate dosage because it really maintains the amount of the epigallocutechin inside your blood and we don't need in this kind of situation, especially this kind of pandemic, we have a peak, then it falls down. This is something, it's very bad. We want it to be consistent inside our bloodstream and we don't want it to exceed to the point that it damage our liver. And the toxicity of this compound based on so many researches happen at a very high dosage, means at 500 milligram per kg, it start to be deadly. For example, I'm 80 kg, so if I get four, if I take 40 gram of uh, epigallocutechin, pure epigallocutechin, then it can kill me. It can uh, destroy my liver or kidney, but 40 gram of the compound is a very high dosage. Well, I have another YouTube channel which is in Persian, and so many of my Iranian uh, fellows who get coronavirus infection 
or they were struggling with the after effect of the coronavirus infection, they contacted me. And out of the 23 people who contacted me and I recommended them to take the green tea at the high dosage, all of them see benefit. Uh, especially they felt the cough was going down, the inflammation on their chest was going down. But luckily, all of these people was not at the third phase or the second phase, like a very you know, critical situation. Most of them who contacted me was at the first phase. But you should keep in mind, this is not a miraculous drug. This can only help you, especially if, if you are at the beginning of the phases, to have a better protection or have a higher chance of surviving. This is the only thing I can say from the uh, epigallocotechin. And the reason I strongly believe in this compound, because this compound have passed its trial on a flu virus. And I strongly believe whatever can stop the flu virus or fight the flu virus, it can be very helpful when we dealing with the coronavirus infection. So, that was for today. I hope this video was informative for you. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friend. Until next time, I wish you all stay safe and well.